question in the chat. Guy goes, hey, Harry, one of my friends from college recently broke up with her boyfriend and randomly admitted she always wanted to hook up. Fantastic. Later in the convo, she feels like we may not be compatible as a couple. Is she trying to gauge how I feel to see if I would be interested in pursuing a relationship or is her statement genuine? Okay, so I know I just said the thing earlier about how with guys, we we convey information and it's just information. So when we convey things to women, they're reading emotions behind it. So this is one of the situations where in an attempt to try to tell you something that she's feeling, the only way she can do it is to give verbal information and hope that you catch on. And that, listen, I'm going to be fair to women. That is hard for women to do. Like women will try to explain an emotional thing to a guy, but it's a, a, there are a lot of terms and sentences and phrases of things that will not adequately describe what a woman's actually feeling internally when she's telling you things. That's why so many men get upset when women say stuff and it's like, what well, you just say what you mean or blah, 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 or what do you mean? And it's like, we don't understand. It's like, they're trying to get it out, but they can't turn their feelings into a language, you know? And it's very hard. So I've just had to learn over the years to start interpreting things and more often than not, I'm right. So this is a situation where she says to you one thing, which is she always wanted to hook up, which is say, saying to you, I have the hots for you. I can, I can see a future with this, blah, 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 blah. Let me the part here where she says, she feels like we may not be compatible as a couple. So what she's actually saying is, based on our friendship interaction up to this point, I have no evidence that indicates that we would work out long-term and I don't know what to do about that, right? Now, what most guys would do in a situation is try to be like, oh, well, I think we'd make a great couple and I can see X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 because we think that's what women wanna hear. And that is not what they want to hear. Like they don't, they, they don't need to hear like us parroting back. Cause then it, it's a funny thing with women, right? They'll say things like, you know, well, I don't know if we'd be compatible or not. And then we think if I just assure her that we would be, then she'll be like, oh, okay, let's do it. And what usually happens is the guy will say like, well, I think we'd be compatible because X, Y, blah, blah, blah. And the girl's like, oh, okay, great. And, and then at that point it ruins the game because it's like, oh, the fact that I didn't know where he was with his feelings is what was actually going to make me have to work towards, you know, uh, proving to him that we should be in a thing, you know? And so the strategy is not to say to her, oh yeah, I think it should be a couple of blah, 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 blah. But now that she said the hookup part, that lets you know that you do have the full right to set up a scenario where a hookup could happen. Because here's the thing, women aren't typically going to want a hookup to be their fault. There are too many reasons to go uh, to go into as to why that is, but suffice to say, the harlot reputation is not one that women want, and that is a reputation that they easily get if they're the ones that say, "Hey, I want to do you, so let's I'm going to set up a time date, my place for you to come do things to me." At best, they'll be like, "Hey, you want to come watch a movie? Hey, I was thinking we could have brunch together." Like these are the lame ways that women are going to basically say, "Come to my place and bang me," right? So what women will do is they will set up passively suggestions of situations that they want you to set up that allows them to be the one that just falls into a situation. So for example, she's done what more than most women will do. She has admitted she's always wanted to hook up with you. So the thing is not to be like, let's go to my place right now, do stuff. No, no, no. You still got to set up a scenario where she can have plausible deniability that she knew this was going to happen, you know? So something as simple as like, hey, you know what? Let's meet up for, uh, don't do not do brunch. Do Try to do like nighttime stuff. Hey, I found this great restaurant or hey, I found this nighttime activity. Like, let's go do that and then we can go back to my place for like drinks or we can go back to my place and watch a movie and just, you know, hang out for the day, you know? So she'll be like, oh my God. Or you can set up where it's like, you set up something you set up something that is nearby your place. Like, hey, there's this cute little bistro that's nearby. I'll even go there and you know get some snacks and just chat a little bit or do whatever. Or hey, there's a you know penny arcade near me. We can go there and play some games and do what's what, right? And then you try to do that for like 30, 40 minutes tops. Afterwards say, oh, that was fun. Hey, you know what? So, if, so this is what you do, right? You set up the date, you have fun. At the end of that, it's like, oh, that was so fun. If she says anything remotely akin to like, so what do you want to do next? That is girl code for please, please, please say you're going to take me up to your to your place and we can do some stuff. But she has to do it like onion layers. She's so surface level. Her communication is so onion layers deep. So when she says, so what else should we do tonight? So what do you want to do next? That's code for, hey, dummy, take me to your place and have an activity ready for us to do so I can plausibly deny that we're going to do some stuff. 
So at that point, you as the guy got to be prepared. Oh, you know what? Um, I have this. I have this painting at my place. I'd love for you to see. Or hey, uh, I have a movie I've been wanting to see. I was gonna, I was gonna catch it later. But if you want to watch with me, it's this movie. Oh, I'd love to watch that. And if there, it's easy sailing. So you set up the. You listen for her to you. She already said the hookup thing. At this point, it's your job to set up a scenario where hooking up with her can happen. So that way, she can be like, "Well, we had a great date." And the next thing I know, we went to his place to watch this movie, and then he was smelling good, and he had to put his arm around me, and then blah 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 blah. Because here's the thing. Women appreciate guys that have game. I've told the story on here tons of times about female friends of mine that I've had that have been able to point out, oh, yeah, this guy did this, this, and this. He had game. He knew what he was doing, and then they hooked up with him. So don't be don't be thinking that it's bad to have game or know what you're doing. It's you as the guy should always know what the freak you're doing with women in these situations. So in terms of what she's trying to gauge, all she's looking for at this point is like, are you getting the signals that I'm throwing out to indicate that a hookup is potentially in imminent? Now, again, she's able to have plausible deniability with the way you set it up because there might be a case where she decides last minute, I don't want to do things. At which point you can say, hey, no problem. I just wanted to, I, I, I always throw this line out to women, right? Let's say we're, let's say she threw the signal out, right? So I set up a little dinner thing and then I invite her back to my place. We're on the couch, we're watching the movie and we start making out. All of a sudden, she says, "Oh, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't want you to think that me coming up here was uh, us going to hook up or blah blah blah. Like, I don't want to like, you know, throw you off because the reality is, a woman might initially set up for a situation, and then in the moment she might think, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for it, and so she might do the pullback. But it's like, oh, I don't think we should be doing this. And what most guys will do is try to be like, they'll either do one or two things. They'll either say like, you know, oh man, but you came up here and I wanted to do a thing, blah blah, blah. and they're showing they're upset by it. In which case, the woman knows, oh, I dodged a bullet. I got to get away from this guy." The other thing that guys will do is they'll be like, oh, sure, sure. Like, we don't have to hook up. It's totally fine. Blah, 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 blah. At which point, you've actually potentially ruined what was a momentary hookup that could have led to a full-blown hookup, you know? So you don't want to completely discard that we're doing anything. You don't want to completely be like, you know, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. What I have found works is this. Because women would be like, you know, I'm sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the evening or ruin the, the mood by, you know, saying blah, blah, blah. And my answer is always this. I say, hey, you know what? Ultimately, my goal is to get to know you in whatever capacity that means. So if we decide before the night's over to do some stuff, fantastic. If we just sit here and watch a movie, fantastic. Either way, I just want to get to know you, no harm, no foul. And then we go back to watching the movie. And I have found that saying that, it makes a woman get out of her head about, I'm upsetting this guy because he's not going to get his way physically with me to, oh, he just wants to get to know me. He's not mad about it. He's cool at going with my pace. I feel so much more relaxed. And I'm so turned on by the fact that he respected me. Now I got to do stuff. And then inevitably stuff happens. It's amazing when you're not trying to push an agenda, what can happen. But suffice to say, this is why you're setting up this stuff knowing that it could happen. Don't be butthurt if it doesn't happen. But yeah, you as the guy, she, she told you all this stuff. I want to hook up, but I'm not sure how you feel. So you ain't got to go full on confessions about feelings to have a hookup to happen. At the point the hookup happens, oh, that was so great. I had a great time, blah, blah, blah. So then she might start going into, so... Where do you see this thing going? Blah, 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 blah. But again, even in this scenario, you let her be the one to bring it up. Again, I go into this extensively in my Introvert Dating Success Academy program, which you can check out at introvertdatingsuccess.com. But hopefully, guy, that helps you out because it certainly helped me out once I learned that stuff.